Hi and welcome to No War Zone. Today we take a look at Sri Lanka's media as World Press Freedom Day 2010 is commemorated around the globe. Falling on the 3rd of May, World Press Freedom Day is an opportunity to remember principles of media freedom and to pay tribute to journalists who have lost their lives in the line of duty. As we in Sri Lanka mark this day, we also celebrate one year since the end of the war. And although things have improved, journalists still have mixed feelings about their security and other issues. However, on World Press Freedom Day, the government announced that journalist J.S. Thissanayagam, who had previously been sentenced to 20 years in prison, had received a presidential pardon. A hopeful sign for Sri Lanka's media. The good news. Journalist J.S. Thissanayagam was granted a presidential pardon to coincide with World Press Freedom Day. Thissanayagam was released on bail in January 2010 pending an appeal against a 20-year jail sentence. He was arrested in March 2008 and charged under the Prevention of Terrorism Act. Thissanayagam's pardon was welcomed by media organizations in particular, who had been regularly agitating for his release. Earlier this year, they too called on the president to issue the pardon. ओहुटत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्तत्
darker period of uh, Sri Lankan uh, media. If you compare with that, I think it is improving, but not up to the mark. It's, uh, so you have to pass so many miles to come to the normal situation. Well, since the conclusion of the presidential election, there does seem to be a drop or a change in terms of threats and assaults and abductions on the media where are concerned. Uh, except for one case, that is the case of Pragit Eknaligoda, who went missing in January this year and who is yet to be found. If you take a democratic country, media is the fourth pillar of that. For that, I think everyone should respect and recognize the rights of the media. And uh, through that only you will uh, achieve the good governance. So for that, I think um, only on, on, the, on the words and deeds, the, the, the officials, uh, the government, uh, the, even the judicial system of Sri Lanka should see to respect, to safeguard the media. You have to look at it in this background that editors and publishers and journalists have or appear to have taken a decision to practice a significant amount of self-censorship in terms of their writing. As a result, the standard of newspapers, the quality of newspapers, have dropped significantly. In its 15-year existence, we have been attacked nine times. Our pressers have been burnt twice. And then in January 2009, we paid the ultimate price when Lasanta Vikramatunga was assassinated. So there is absolutely no question that we can simply close shop. We, we I think, more than others, apart, as I said, from the financial commitment, have even more reason to continue and to survive. But that is our biggest challenge right now.